In this lesson, we're looking at mitosis. This isn't specifically part of our subject matter, but it's really important to understand as a follow on from looking at DNA replication. So let's start with some quick cell facts. You have 15 trillion cells in your body. The human body will undergo about 10 quadrillion cell divisions in a lifetime. And every minute around 300 million cells in your body will die. So cells replicate in our body for growth of the whole organism, repair, development in children and embryos and, and asexual reproduction in a single celled organism. Remember that when cells divide, they're actually multiplying. So they divide to create more cells and the parent shares itself by replicating its DNA and sharing its content between its two new unique daughter cells. Well, they're not unique. They're actually an identical copy of the parent. So we've discussed the idea that cells in our body have a cycle it goes through and we'll do, you know it spends most of its time in interphase, which is the G1, S and G2 here, where it grows, functions and prepares for cell division. It can also spend just you know, a bit of time here at G0 um, as well. So during S phase or that synthesis phase, the DNA replication occurs to prepare it for sharing the set of identical instructions to its daughter cells. Mitosis is the phase in the cell cycle where eukaryotic cell nuclei will divide evenly to form two diploid daughter cells. Now I'll explain all that in a minute. One parent cell will replicate its DNA and it will divide to create two new identical cells. I've got 46 there because in humans we have 46 chromosomes, so all 46 need to go into the daughter cells. Now both the parent and the daughter cells are considered to be diploid, right? There's that word. And that means that it contains two copies of each chromosome. One was previously inherited from you know the mother and one from the father. And this is opposed to cells that are haploid and only carry one copy. And this only occurs in our gametes, like our eggs and our sperm. Now, prior to the mitotic stage of the cell cycle, the DNA replication occurs in preparation during S phase. We know that at this stage, the DNA in the form, you know, in the form of chromosomes, it's replicated, but they remain together at the centromere where they appear in sort of a pinched fashion, right? After replication, with the two copies being held together, the chromosome is said to have sister chromatids. Um, and it's really important to recognize this because they're identical and they'll actually be split up to put into the new daughter cells. Mitosis occurs in four stage and after interphase, we'll have prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase before the entire cell is split in a process known as cytokinesis. So the nucleus uh, does the division first and then cytokinesis, that splitting of the entire cell contents. Obviously, we'll be using diagrammatic representations of these processes, but they are also visible under the microscope in many forms as well. All right, in prophase, the chromosomes in the nucleus condense down to become really short and thick. So they actually become visible to under the microscope at this point. The two chromatids are really visible and can be seen held together at that centromere. Now centrioles are organelles within the cytoplasm, um, which move to the poles, so either end of the cell. And at this point, the nuclear membrane starts to break down, right? We have to actually access the nuclear material. And at that point, the centrioles then form a network of spindle fibers, which kind of extend out and um, try and grab at the chromosomes in the middle there. In metaphase, the spindle fibers are attached to the chromosomes and they're dragged into the center of the cell. At this point, it's really easy to observe them in the cell. And we sometimes call this that they're at the equator of the cell. In anaphase, the spindle fibers contract and they shorten and they actually pull at the centromere in two directions and it splits the chromatids in half. The sister chromatids, which were once stuck together at the cent centromere, are now no longer. So the spindle fibers will keep shortening and they will pull the now single chromatid chromosomes to the opposite end of the cell. And the new daughter cells are receiving one of these chromosomes each, so one chromatid, to make it identical to the original parent cell from the DNA replication. In telophase, we've got the final phase here. A new nuclear membrane begins to form around all the chromosomes at each end of the cell. The spindle fibers start to break down. They're no longer needed. And the chromosomes um, become longer and thinner and less visible and ready to pack down into the cell. 
The final stage of cell division is cytokinesis and it involves the rest of the cells splitting too. So we've got to make those two new cells created. Mitosis deals with just the nuclear contents. Cytokinesis must separate the cytoplasm and take the organelles with it as well. So cytokinesis is actually marking that point uh, where two new cells are created. Now in animal cells, the outer cell membrane will pinch together and enclose around the new cells. But in plant and fungal cells, we have to also build a new cell wall. So essentially the cell wall materials are sent out into the center of the cell where a new cell membrane has pinched in and the wall is built towards the already existing wall. Now this process can take around two hours to complete and certain cells will go through more cell divisions than others depending on their role in the body. Uh, for example, your intestinal lining cells undergo divisions every five days or so because they're in constant contact with food, movement and abrasions. Your skin cells uh, may divide every two or so weeks, but your nerve cells may never go through this. Um, some can stay with you from birth. It's quite a beautiful process um, when captured on film and it's really easy to visualize all the stages of mitosis down the microscope as well. So if we look at something like an onion root, we can see if we take little pictures, we can see lots of different cells in the different phases of mitosis. So again, remember this dot point here is about my um, it's about actual DNA replication and we've spoken just there about cellular replication so it's important to make that extension from the DNA replication.